Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations, and this is my May most anticipated new releases. So I feel like this month coming up definitely has a variety of genres that I'm interested in. So it's kind of interesting to see what was out there and what I was looking at. First up is a middle grade mystery, which is perfect because this comes out in time for the middle grade May readathon, which I am co-hosting. So seeing this book came out was perfect. And this is Minerva Keene's Detective Club by James Patterson and Keir Graff. Living in the luxurious Arcanium building with its interior balconies, perfect for playing tag, an elevator like an iron bird cage, and quirky neighbors behind every apartment door has always been fun and games for 12-year-old Minerva Keene. Until her neighbors start getting poisoned, anyone could be next and everyone is a suspect, including Minerva herself. To clear her name and help the police crack the case, Minerva starts her own detective club. So what if it only has two other members, one being Minerva's accident-prone daredevil brother and the other being the biggest and quietest kid in school who happens to be afraid of his own shadow? Minerva knows that with her brain power, the club's sleuthing skills, and case files full of suspects, they can unmask the poisoner, hopefully before it's too late. This sounds really cute. I like the idea of like the fancy building and two unlikely friends that team up with her. And this one is coming out May 1st, so right in the beginning of the month. Next up is a romantic suspense, and this one should come as no surprise to anyone who watches my videos. This is Identity by Nora Roberts. Former Army brat Morgan Albright has finally planted roots in a friendly neighborhood near Baltimore. Her friend and roommate Nina helps make the mortgage payments, as does Morgan's job as a bartender. But after she and Nina host their first dinner party, attended by Luke, the flirtatious IT guy who's been chatting her up at the bar, her carefully built world is shattered. The backdoor glass is broken, cash and jewelry are missing, her car is gone, and Nina lies dead on the floor. Soon, a horrific truth emerges. It was Morgan who let the monster in. Luke is actually a cold-hearted con artist named Gavin who targets a particular type of woman, steals her assets and identity, and then commits his ultimate goal, murder. What the FBI tells Morgan is beyond chilling. Nina wasn't his type, Morgan is. Nina was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Morgan's nightmare is just beginning. Soon she has no choice but to flee to her mother's home in Vermont. While she struggles to build something new, she meets another man, Miles Jameson. He isn't flashy or flirtatious, and his family business has deep roots in town. But Gavin is still out there hunting new victims, and he hasn't forgotten about the one who got away. I don't like the traditional 80s romances that Nora wrote, but I definitely like this type of suspense thriller type of genre. So absolutely looking forward to this one. And this one comes out on May 23rd. Next, we have A Cozy Mystery, and this is Blueberry Blunder by Amanda Flower. This is number eight in the Amish Candy Shop series. Bailey King, star of TV's Bailey's Amish Sweets, is building her dream candy factory in Harvest, Ohio. But no sooner is the frame of the new building up than she finds the dead body of her surly contractor who has a long list of enemies, including people in the Amish community. To add to the drama, Bailey is being filmed by a crew for her upcoming show. When Bailey's TV producer pitched a reality show about building the factory, Bailey was shocked that the network picked it up. She's not shocked that many of the Amish working on the job site refused to be on camera. However, local community organizer Margot Rollins 
is ecstatic because the filming coincides with the harvest's first annual blueberry bash. Margot believes the media attention will make Harvest the most popular destination in Holmes County. But now, the county may be known for all the wrong reasons. Bailey will have to sift through the crowd of angry villagers and thousands of blueberries to solve the murder, save her new venture, and protect her Amish friends. At the same time, she and her longtime boyfriend, Aiden Brody, are making big decisions about their future together a future that may be in jeopardy if Bailey is the next pick on the killer's list. I love these Amish series, the Amish candy shop series, as well as the spinoff, the Amish matchmaker series. I always love going back to Harvest. I love the mix of the very few Englishers and the Amish together. And I think in general, we often think of like the Amish as just like, this innocent group of people, but this book, this series has shown us that it's anything but. This one's also coming out on May 23rd. The next one should also not be a surprise. This is a thriller. It is The Senator's Wife by Liv Constantine. After a tragic chain of events led to the deaths of their spouses two years ago, DC philanthropist Sloan Chase and Senator Whit Montgomery are finally starting to move on. The horrifying ordeal drew them together and now they're ready to settle down again with each other. As Sloan returns to the world of White House dinners and political small talk, this time with her new husband, she's also preparing for an upcoming hip replacement, the latest reminder of the lupus diagnosis she's managed since her 20s. With both their hectic schedules, they decide that hiring a home health aide will give Sloan the support and independence she needs post-surgery, and they find the perfect fit in Athena Karras. Seemingly a godsend, Athena tends to Sloan and even helps her run her charitable foundation. But Sloan slowly begins to deteriorate, a complication, Athena explains, of Sloan's lupus. As weeks go by, Sloan becomes sicker, and her uncertainty quickly turns into paranoia as she begins to suspect the worst. Why is Athena asking her so many probing questions about her foundation, about her past? And could Sloan be imagining the sultry looks between Athena and her new husband? Riveting, fast-paced, and full of unbelievable twists, the Senator's Wife is a psychological thriller that upends the private homes of those who walk the halls of power, because when you have it all, you have everything to lose. I am a fan of Liv Constantine. I always suggest The Last Mrs. Parrish, so you know I'm looking forward to this one, and it's coming out on May 23rd. And the next one is a little out of what I normally read in a way. I'm going to read you the genres listed which are nonfiction, memoir, feminism, cults, politics, and economics. This is definitely not something I normally read, but I this just sounded really interesting. So it's called Hey Hun, Sales, Sisterhood, Supremacy, and the Other Lies Behind Multilevel Marketing. And this is by Emily Lynn Paulson. This is an eye-opening, funny, and dangerous personal story of author Emily Lynn Paulson rising to the top of the pyramid in the multi-level marketing MLM world, only to realize that its culture and business practices went beyond a trendy marketing scheme and into the heart of white supremacy in America. A significant polemic on how MLMs operate, Hay Hun expertly lays out their roles in the cultural epidemic of isolation and the cult-like ideologies that course through their trainings, marketing, and one-on-one -on -one interactions. Equally entertaining and smart, Paulson's first-person accounts and biting commentary will leave you with a new perspective on those Hey Hun messages flooding your inbox. I don't know, this just sounds interesting. Like, like I said, not my normal thing, but I'm, I'm kind of interested in this because I've always found those things to kind of be like, yeah, please go away. Like, I'm not interested. I'm not a salesperson to begin with. And like, just kind of the tactics I've seen people do. Um, 
no, <laughs> it's just not. So I think this might be fun. Um, it is 384 pages, but we'll see how it goes. And this is going to come out on May 30th. Anyway, that's it. Those are the books coming out in May that I can't wait for. Let me know if you're interested in any of these. If not, what you're most interested in that's coming out in May. And let's compare notes because, you know, I'm always on the lookout for new books and things to add to my TBR. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.